It's 2006 and Johnny Lodden is one of two undisputed kings of online poker. Dominating all challengers on the Prima network alongside his only equal, Patrick Antonius. He is only 21 years old and has already made millions, but he is about to lose it all. Online poker is in its infancy, Limit Hold'em is the game to play, and Prima and Party Poker are the main battlefields. Lodden, aka Bad IP, is almost always found sat at the biggest tables ready for fresh blood. One day, an American player was losing to Lodden and called him a lucky brat. The player challenged Lodden to sit at a private limit table with full bankrolls on the table. The American proudly put $190,000 onto the felt, but disappeared almost immediately when Lodden nearly broke the table by dumping $5.9 million on it. Bad IP was playing and beating anyone who dared to challenge him. Always looking for action, the terrorist was one of a few players Antonius and Lodden spoke to through an online messenger chat to arrange online sessions. But after some insane hero calls, which were always right, Antonius had suddenly lost over $500,000 to the terrorist. Antonius was sure he had found a way to cheat. Antonius told him in chat that he was going to switch to a different computer, then sit to play a session with him, hoping to test if a computer virus was the source of the cheating. The terrorist quickly sat out before asking Antonius to come into Messenger to speak with him about something. Antonius refused and never played him again. Lodden, however, did not have the same wisdom or self-control. Despite Antonius warning him, he kept playing against the terrorist. In the summer of 2006, Lodden lost almost $500,000 and more quickly followed. Before long, Lodden was broke. Years later, in an attempt to explain his decisions, Lodden said, I was so stupid, young, proud and stupid. I couldn't stand witnessing someone become the best player in the world. Eventually, when his bankroll was shredded, Lodden hired a hacker to find out for certain what had happened. The hacker revealed that, just as Antonius had suspected, the messenger chat had been used to transmit a Trojan virus. The terrorist had been looking at Lodden's exact hold cards while they had been playing. Lodden already expected as much, but simply couldn't control himself. Antonius and Lodden might have sought compensation or retribution, but were informed that the terrorist had brought protection from biker gangs in Sweden. The terrorist, a computer genius whose real name is Mohamed Kalsari, soon disappeared from the online world. Without having ever put any savings aside, Lodden no longer had a bankroll, and the golden years of online poker were about to begin. Soon, monster games will pop up on Full Tilt and Poker Stars. Antonius will jump in and battle Ivy and others, finding glory and fortune along the way. Lodden, on the other hand, never fully recovered from this terrible hit. Too bored and ashamed to climb the stakes from the bottom, he drifted and his skills rusted for years before staking from friends finally got him back on his feet. Lodden has, of course, made money since then and has had some good life scores, but claims he is nowhere near as sharp as he was in his prime. As one of the first true kings of the online poker world, though, he will always command respect and occupy a special place in the history of our great game. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.